come over and get a clipping of this cedar tree, you too could grow some swarms. <laughs> All right, let's go to work. You get to watch. If you're watching, you're learning. Let me spritz them. What I'm spraying is sugar, thin sugar water with three or four drops of lemongrass oil in it. It tightens up the bees. Let's see if I can get... Oh, a little closer. And if, uh, yeah, about right there, something like that. Ooh, nice. Basket, basketball size. Okay. The scout bees coming back. They're probably checking out the other catch boxes. I have to go over and get my cart. I'll be right back. I feel like I just did this the other day. Didn't I do this just the other day? Now we are going to assume that the colony behind us on the ground is Russian. This is typical of Russian bees. Lots of swarms. And then when they're done swarming, they've almost swarmed themselves out. And I let that go on purpose and then they'll stop it those Russian girls they'll shut that program down okay so um, cool there's the strap on the ground I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't like mentally ready <laughs> you know what I'm saying hold on to see and uh okay get a good view let me get set all right what I, what I want you to do is to watch the beekeeper's hands okay it's very tactile how he clips how he moves how he gathers the bees how he scoops the bees I got to assess Every swarm hangs different, so you kind of slow your mind down and you assess, like, okay, what's the smartest way to get this swarm off? I don't like splashing and dashing and dumping and I don't like all that. Be gentle. I think the more gentle you are, the better off you'll be. Let's have a close look so you get an idea. All right. Oh, fine. Where? Yeah. Right there. We're gonna cut those out of there. Be fairly easy, looks like. They're not way tall and high. All right. Watch the beekeeper's hands. All right, here we go.
catch box I was going to set out. Ha! Huh, but it's going to get employed. When you're working swarms, they tend to want to creep higher up the tree. So if you're not paying attention, they'll make your work harder for you. Now I already just happen to have some comb frames in here. Because <laughs> it was a catch box. to put some sugar water down. I'll leave them trap, trapped up for 24 hours. This just lays down a little bit of something to eat and gather up. They've already got a lot of honey in their tummies. Flipping. Stuff out of my way. When you come close, be gentle. Just don't want to disturb the cluster as much as possible. This is probably the part that takes a little time to learn strategically how to maneuver your way around without making a, a mess. And yes, I've done it before. I accidentally bump them, drop them, let them cluster back up. They love cedar trees because they can grab a hole so tight. I don't like cedar trees. Now, so some of my some of my best students I've ever had in the field, they always do ask, "What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? And what are you looking at?" So I'm gonna treat you like that's what you're doing to me. So right now. I'm trying to clear, clear away the limbs that would be in my way. And I see the cluster, they're, they're nicely tight. I like that. I want a tight cluster, a little bit of sugar water, lemongrass oil. If you don't have lemongrass oil, you could use two teaspoons of vanilla. We just want them to to tighten up. Okay. Still clearing my way. Make certain of what you're clipping. Okay. Now 
the catch box has already been scented with Swarm Commander before I even got down here. Okay, so there's a limb going through up the top here. I'm going to clip it and see if I can pull some bees off and kind of prime the pump down here. <clears throat> I have an inch and a half hole in the front. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Slow your mind down. They're like little monkeys hanging on to each other. Here we go. Yeah, we'll put him in there. Like that. Come on, little girl. Okay. Now. I only have four frames in here to make room. There's it's holes five, making room for the swarm. Away. <coughs> Tightens them up. Come on this side. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really looking for the queen this time. I just want to get them in the box. I'm cut in front of you. Now the problem is they're on a big main limb. I can't quite get it with my loppers. So... Now if, if I do see the queen, it's nice to look at her. Don't have to. These are Russians. A little bit of black. The more black bees I see, the more aggressive, robust they are. It seems to be. Okay, so girls, now what? Now some people, they would say, oh, just put that box under there and shake the machine. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that a long time ago. They don't stay put very well. Watch. Mind your manners and be gentle. What do I feel when I put my hand up in there? Vibrations. Vibrating, they're vibrating. And the big group would be hot. Now, now I'm starting to feel the heat. Vibrating, constantly vibrating. Cool. Right about here is where I slow down. Look at the look for the queen. 
Yeah, you know. They're gonna be they're gonna be caged up inside here for a while anyway, so. They're okay. Just gently shake them off. There you go. Look at my glove for stingers. No stingers. If they lay down 20, 30 stingers, that's a self-defensive trait and, and that's bad. That's a genetic problem and we'll have to find the queen and change her out. Another scoop. Now, she's still on here. The queen's still here because they're, they're calm. They can smell her. <laughs> and the bees in the box are all fidgety. So I'm reading the, bo the body language of the bees. The body language. And what I look for when I'm trying to find the queen She'll duck and run in between her girls. Shh. There she is. There she is. There she is. Right there. Can you see her? I hope you can see her. Right there she is. Where my middle finger is pointing. I hope you can see her. Man, she's right there. Right there she goes around my little finger. She's there. <laughs> in the box she goes. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there she is. No, 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 no. Squared her. You go down. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're in the box, girl. <laughs> she get, she, they get nervous. And they can leave my hand. And we don't want that. So now, I saw the queen. I hope, I hope we got that on film. And now... I could just deliver some bees. <laughs> Shutting their entrance. Start the bottom and scoop upwards, and it pushes the bees to the top. Just slow down. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Finding a top handhold. Can't do it. Thought maybe I could clip the clip the end of that off. vibrations, hard vibrations in my hand. That's how they communicate to each other, through, through vibrations.
I scoop with my left hand, leave my right hand free for whatever. Now I know she's in there. There she is down there. Get down there, girl. Ah, oh, look at her. No. <laughs> Wanting to come up and out. Okay. So I have a fidgety queen. Where's my handle? There it is. Now. Ha. Okay. <laughs> Can you see? Let's watch the beekeeper screw it up here. Okay. I don't want a queen leaving the box, you know. That ought to be a pretty cool shot. So I got to shake them off just gently. Just gently. Here we go. Okay. Gosh. You know. Not exactly like I planned. Okay. Doo -doo. okay, so let me narrate here a bit. Because what I see, what I see is common. All right, see the bees, where's my pointer? From the tree, they're kind of gathering back up. It's not, it's not a bad thing. They're lost. They're like, oh my gosh, she's gone. Where did she go? They're looking for her. Okay, so the bees that were in the air are coming over here. Now I will leave them alone. I will go look at them in a little bit and poke around to see if there's a queen. But over here, I've strapped it shut. There's bees on the edge, they can smell her. But we also have the metal screen, that's the, what do you call it, a disc? It spins open, closed, air holes. Okay, so I saw her go, we saw her on our hand. I could have clipped her, but it's okay. But I gave her, she has in there, four frames of full drawn comb, that's great. But she might be a virgin, probably. So she needs to go get mated, but she looked kind of big for a virgin, actually. So, so I don't know, I can't say for sure where the swarm came from, 
but if she's already mated, she has inside of there four frames to start laying up on. <clears throat> the bees on the side, they're gathered on the side right there. They smell her, that's okay. We, we just don't wanna smash a queen or lose a queen or she flies away. And normally when you, when you see the queen and put her in, she'll go poof down to the dark, boom. Well, this one came floating back to the top and a little confused and nervous. Now, queen, queen, when queens get nervous, they like to, if I hold my hands out here, they like to flutter their wings, flutter. They'll flutter their wings, they'll flutter their wings. Like a butterfly, they'll run around, flutter their wings, they're nervous. Okay, so we read that and go, oh, okay, she needs to get on down. If you have your squirt bottle, you can squirt them. That'll slow that down. She'll go, ugh, and she'll want to dive down away from it. That's exactly what she did. Squirt her, boom, down she goes. That's where I want her. I want her down there. I don't want her coming up or running around because wherever she flies to, she comes back out and goes up here. That's where they're all going to go. They're all, you have to always remember bees first work by scent and then by, by, by vibrations. By scent, then by vibrations. So what about the bees on the side? That's fine. I'm not going to fuss with them. They can go with me on the ride to the North Apiary. It's about, oh, maybe a quarter mile away. We're on eight acres, kind of a long rectangular property. It's okay, got my yellow cart, put her in the box just like we did the other times, like deja vu all over. So, so now what I'm gonna do, doo -doo 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 -doo. see I slow myself down, give a good lesson, that's what I wanna do. Want to give a good lesson. Now what I'm gonna do is go poke around on this group I don't see a queen in the box. Now, if I see her here, <laughs> I'll, I'll be diving for my queen clip because then I do have to clip her. She'll be really long. Okay. Poke underneath. No queen, just lots of confused bees. <laughs> they don't like that. Okay, so so now they're just they're just a little scared, a little nervous. They're okay. Right here. See if the phone. Right here. So so what are you looking at, Kendall? All these bees right here. Right here. You see them, when you see bees kind of balled up in the area, you got a question, are they protecting a queen?
Okay. So. Okay. So the queen is inside. The girls can't find her. But I'm going to let these girls just settle on the tree. They, they know where home is. They know where they came from. They'll go back or they'll follow me. Now I know some of you probably aren't gonna believe this. I've had swarms, actually colony left an observation hive, a marked queen, white dot on her back in the honey hut on a hot summer day. I go darn, they left the observation hive. I came out in the afternoon. It was the same morning I saw they left. Came out in the afternoon and had bees float down on top of my head from the sky, literally. So got on my knees like what in the heck? And these bees clustered up somewhere right nearby. Let them settle. I just thought it was a swarm but it was that same queen that left the observation hive and the bees came back to me, right near me. Caught them back, put them in a nuke box, proper nuke box. They get hot, they can leave their house, they'll go up in the air about 50 feet where it's cooler, hang around, cool off, come right back to the beekeeper. Just saying, they're not stupid. So there's the bees on the tree. Some of these bees will actually watch where I go. They'll watch where I go. They'll get up there about 50 feet. And they go, where is this clown going with this box? It's got our queen in it. And they'll follow me all the way up about a quarter mile north. A white, a white box and a yellow cart. How do you miss that? They'll follow me. That's okay. The more and more and more you work with the bees, it never gets old. The more stunning it is, the more crazy stuff they do, the more things you go, holy cow, I had no idea. Yep, 16 years of full-time beekeeping and I've seen some crazy stuff. So if you're catching a swarm, go back to the tree. And after you're done, you go, oh my gosh, there's bees out here, oh my gosh. Well, don't freak out and fret. Okay, don't worry about it. They're gonna go back home. Now this is on our property, so we don't have to worry about it. But if you're at a citizen's house somewhere, consumer's house, they call you to come pick up a swarm, you're gonna have to explain to them this because you're not gonna get every bee unless you have a bee vac and you're gonna try to suck up every single bee. Ah, uh, no, I don't. No, I used to, long time ago. No, 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 no. Clip and scoop, gently clip, spritz, scoop, spritz, scoop. And, and they will go back home. Or some of them, like I said, will follow a white box and a yellow cart. That wouldn't surprise me at all. And the majority of them, now what I'm trying to do here, the more, majority of them are on top of the edge of the box because they can smell inside that crack now could I have crushed the queen <sighs> it's possible but I don't think I did because when I saw her up top I squirted her and poked her down boom, boom, she went boom down then you get the box the lid on so so don't freak out that you got to try to get every bee in the box yeah, no 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 queen of course the queen now then, now then, now, so, now some of my students are laughing at me, I know they are. But you saw the queen and you didn't clip her. I know, I know, it's a trade-off. <laughs> she's gonna be, she's gonna be, she's gonna be caught up in this box because the box has that spinning metal disc. And so they're already trapped in it. And I'll leave them, I won't, I won't open the, I won't open the front door for another 24 hours. Because I want that queen pheromone to saturate in, into that wax. Plus, it'll settle them down. It'll settle them down. If she's a virgin, she's got to fly and get mated. 
There's a risk she won't come back, true, but her girls are here. Unless, it's always a possibility, unless her girls say, well, we think we can find a better home for our queen, and out they go and take off with it. That can happen. Ah, oh, you know, that's part of beekeeping. Yes, I know you can go run and grab a frame of brood and throw in there on them and keep them safe and put it in. Ah, I, that's, ah, that's my last thing I want to do. <laughs> I've got other tricks up my sleeve rather than busting open another colony. Yeah. I just sprayed this. I just, this is a brand new catch box. Brand new catch. How come these bees couldn't have got up off this tree and flown into my box while I was pulling it on the cart? <gasps> And then I could just pull it on up to the North Apiary. <laughs> that would have been so much easier. <laughs> Brand new box. Just just finished painting it yesterday. One squirt of Swarm Commander under the lid. And two squirts of Swarm Commander on the front door. And my cedar tree is growing swarms. <laughs> uh, you got to laugh. There's not very many bees. I see about eight bees floating around up there. Huh, what's that tell you? A lot less bees on the tree now. See, slow down. Slow down and read the bees. So while I'm talking to you, I'm reading the bees. They realize, ah, oh, she's not up here anymore. She's down here. And that's why we see so many bees gathered up on the box. So she's in there. I'll go have another look. One way I know she's in there is they're fidgety. Fidget. Get nervous when they can't get a good whiff of their queen. Fidget, fidget, fidget. So let me uh, go close. Yeah. Okay, now. Oops. Now what I'm looking at are the bees that are pooch fanning. Call it pooch fanning. They're raising their nozinoff gland, or they're sticking their nozinoff gland out of the tip of their abdomen. It's their come home smell, telling their sisters, come down here, come down here. Mama's here, house is here, everybody's here. I think these are Russians. They act like Russians. But Russian bees do everything over the top, extra, more robust. funny slow down so they're nervous and excited and they're running about they can't directly smell their queen where did she go where did she go oh my god oh my god oh my god what are we doing what are we gonna do <laughs> that's all they're doing okay how about the tree Let's see if i can get you on the tree read the bees Read the bees. Where did we go? Where did, there it is. That's where she was. There's only a few. See that white tip of that limb? That's where she was. Only a few. Slow down. Right? Every swarm catch is a bit different. Everything's about the queen. Now they'll they'll calm down over 24 hours. They'll calm down. Now I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can go down here. I'll turn the box. That's a metal disc. <laughs> this is cool. 
I like these. When you can put them on nuke boxes or catch boxes, they're helpful. Back out. So the metal disc, it spins on the screw in the middle. It has a big wide open setting, then, a, then slits, and then a vented small holes. So now what's happening, see I'm telling you what I see. What's happening is some of the girls are going, oh, I, can, I can smell her here. I can smell her, she's down here. Everybody come down here. And those bees that are on top of the box, they'll begin to slowly, see how, see how more and more are coming to the disc? <laughs> you're learning. If you're watching, you're learning. Come into the disc, no big deal. They have to breathe. Now, the bottom is solid, just masonite boarding, it's real simple, solid bottom. But they got a little bit of air through the hole. Now, the top lid is a little bowed. I had to pull it down tight. And you're going to crush a few bees. It's just part of the process, you try not to. But, if you focus on your work, you'll get the queen in there. Put, get the lid on promptly. Use your feather, kind of guide, direct the bees, get the lid down and tighten it up. You don't want to, when you go, when you start to go for your lid, you do want to kind of be brisk about it because the bees will present an opportunity for you to, oops, slip it right on right then. <sighs> See how more and more bees are coming down to the disc? It's okay. They'll settle down. See, they're all fidgety, jumpy, fluttering around. They're like, dang. Russians, to my experience, Russian bees are like a regular honeybee on steroids. Everything's over the top. Regular hun European honeybees build 10 swarm cells. Russians will build 25. They're not mean. They're just real robust. Not necessarily the best bee for a brand new beekeeper. Italian's the best, really, for a brand new beekeeper. Russians have got their own little fickle attitude. Okay, time to package up, load stuff up. I hope you enjoy our videos. We love teaching by myself again today, me and the tripod. So if you like what we do, we really do focus hard on sustainable beekeeping. You might look more into our website. We do a lot of teaching, seven different eBooks, classes in Inola all throughout the year. A couple of pages of interest to students. One page is uh, our uniqueness, littlecreekbeeranch.com. Scroll down till you find a page titled our, our uniqueness. Those are the things that we're known for nationally. You might study that. Contrary, we're contrary. The biggest thing that we're, we're known for is our private coaching uh, system and service, a personal advisor program. It's our flagship service. We teach uh, students all over the Midwest sustainable beekeeping. We offer a, a lot in that program, so I would direct you, direct you to the page titled per, The Personal Advisor Program. You can read all the benefits there in the program. It's a subscription service for coaching, $29.95 a month pretty cheap for all that you're getting all the value we're very sensitive to get, giving students tremendous value <clears throat> you can subscribe there and we'll send you some information and set some phone appointments and do some other cool stuff a lot of cool stuff we do all right I'm tired and hungry the bees are tired of messing with the beekeeper so we're gonna pick them up and put them in our yellow cart and head north all right, folks, if you ever got questions or you're curious about something, you might uh, give us a shout or text or email. I don't mind answering a few questions. Personal advisor program is there for ongoing coaching. The bees bring a very high bar. The learning curve in beekeeping is a monster. It will eat you up. Unless you just like to struggle repeatedly. We don't, we don't like that. We want to lower the learning curve and raise your bee IQ. That's what we do. Lower the learning curve, raise the BIQ. Takes some time, five to eight years actually, about five to eight years. All right, check you out. Thank you for watching. 
click thumbs up subscribe all that stuff check you out later